In this video, I'm going to try to explain ventilation perfusion mismatch, which mystifies many. Let's consider ventilation and perfusion as a continuum, with zero at one end and infinity at the other end. In the center, ventilation and perfusion are equal, a ratio of one. The alveolus is ventilating, and the vessel has deoxygenated high CO2 blood approaching and getting fully oxygenated on its way out. That's the ideal situation. At the far left, we have a VQ of zero, zero ventilation and adequate perfusion. So the alveolus has no air movement. The deoxygenated high CO2 blood enters the vessel and nothing happens to it on the way through. This is called shunt, blood moving through the lung that is not exposed to an alveolus containing oxygen. At the other extreme, our ventilation is working fine, moving air in and out of the lungs, but the blood vessel is blocked by a clot or whatever. And so we have normal ventilation, no perfusion, anything divided by zero is infinity. This is dead space. Bidirectional gas flow with no exchange. In normal healthy lung, different areas of the lung are somewhere on this VQ continuum. Very few alveoli are actually perfectly matched, and hopefully there's not large areas of shunt or dead space. Shunt would be areas of atelectasis, for example, where the lung is partially collapsed. Dead space would be, of course, the trachea, but also areas where there's decreased perfusion, either because of gravity or hypotension. I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.